All right, let's look at our first example for mass density. So say you had 300 milliliters of some liquid. It could be any liquid. And the mass of that liquid was 231 grams. So we have 231 grams of some liquid poured into a 300 milliliter container. What would its mass density be in SI units, right? So currently we have this volume that's given to us in milliliters, and what we're really trying to do is trying to find the mass density of this liquid in SI units. In other words, we want this in kilograms per meter cubed, right? Some mass over a unit volume of meters cubed. So right now we know that mass density, which is rho, that is equal to mass divided by volume, right? And right now we know that the mass of this liquid, right, is 231 grams. And that the volume that this mass is contained in, or this liquid is sitting in, that is equal to 300 milliliters. Now there's a couple important conversions that we need to know. Firstly, we need to get grams in units of kilograms, right? And we know that one kilogram is equal to 1,000 grams. So we're going to need that in a future calculation here. And milliliters here, one milliliter is really equal to one centimeter cubed. And we also know that 100 centimeters equals one meter. Now this last conversion, remember this is a linear conversion. So this is in, uh, this is a conversion between a length. It's not a conversion between volume. Well, we can use these three conversions to basically figure out what this mass density is going to be in SI units. So let's do the easy one first. The easy one is this mass in 231 grams. So if I said the mass is equal to 231 grams, well, in order to do the conversion from grams to kilograms, we know that one kilogram is equal to 1,000 grams. And the reason I put kilograms on top is because you can see that if we divided grams by grams, the G unit will cancel out, right? Grams will cancel out and we'll be left with kilograms. So if I did this simple calculation, 231 divided by 1,000, these two units will cancel out and we'll be left with 0 0.231 kilograms. Okay, great, so now we have the mass. Let's work on this volume. The volume is gonna be a little bit more difficult, but it shouldn't be too bad. So looking at our conversions here, we can see that one milliliter is equal to one centimeter cubed, right? These are both unit volumes. So if I said volume is equal to 300 milliliters, well, that's really just, it's a one-to-one -one relationship between milliliters and centimeters cubed. This is really just the same as one, or 300 centimeters cubed, right? One milliliter equals one centimeter cubed. Now, the units that we're trying to get are meters, right? And we know in one meter, there are 100 centimeters. So what if we took this 300 centimeter cubed and we took this conversion factor of one meter to 100 centimeters and remember the reason why I have centimeters here in the denominator is because we want these centimeter units to cancel out so that we're left with meters. Now remember if I did this conversion this would not really convert very well right because we're taking centimeter cubed and we're dividing it by just one unit of centimeters. So in order to get the units correct, we should cube this conversion, right? So what this is really going to give us is it's going to give us 300 centimeter cubed. And at the top, we're going to have one meter cubed, right? One meter cubed is one meter cubed divided by, well, 100 centimeters cubed is one million centimeters cubed, right? We're just cubing the hundred and cubing the unit of centimeters, and this is what we get. Well, I know this number is large, but the nice thing here is that these units of centimeter cubed cancels out, and we're just left with meters cubed, 
and that's great because that's the unit we're trying to get it to here. So this is really 300 divided by 1 million, and that is 0 0.0003 meters cubed. Or if we wanted to simplify this a little bit, we can put it in scientific notation, right? So this is really 3 times 10 to the negative fourth meters cubed. And the reason it's negative 4 is because we're just moving this decimal place 4 units uh, to the left here. So it's negative 4, right? We're going to the left. And this is the volume that we end up with, right? 0 0.0003 meters cubed. So great, we have mass in kilograms, which is good. We have volume in meters cubed, which is good. And now simply the density, the mass density of this unknown liquid is simply the mass divided by the volume. So mass is 0 0.231 kilograms divided by 3 times 10 to the negative fourth meters cubed. And if we do this calculation on a calculator, we'll get that the mass density is 770 kilograms per meter cubed, right? There's our answer. This unknown liquid has a mass of 770 kilograms for every one unit or one meter cubed of volume.